Hello everyone! Welcome to 4B's English lesson video. I'm Kevin, and for today's lesson, we're going to practice some native pronunciation. Let's look at a sample sentence. How do you think we'd say this sentence if you were a native speaker? Well, you'll notice there's a lot of T sounds in this sentence. Very hard T sounds. So as a native speaker, I actually wouldn't say every single T sound. Listen when I say every T sound, and you'll notice it sounds a little strange. But Tom went to the shop at 10. Oh, boy. Very unnatural sounding. Too many t t t uh, doesn't sound good at all. So actually, in this situation, where we have one word that ends in a hard T right next to another word that starts with a hard T, we usually drop the first T sound away. So when the two words push together, there's only a single T sound. Let's practice making this native single T sound with two words pushed together. So for our first combination, but Tom, we're going to push them together, baton, baton. Repeat after me, baton, baton, baton. Okay, good. Our next combination, went to, again, single T sound, went to, went to. Repeat after me, went to, went to. Went to. All right, very nice. Our final one, at 10. Again, single T sound. At 10. At 10. Repeat after me. At 10. At 10. At 10. All right, very good. Now let's put those three combinations together in the sentence. Only one T sound for each. Give it a try. But Tom went to the shop at 10. Hmm, a little fast, okay, so let's repeat after me, I'll go a little slower, but again, one single T sound for each combination. But Tom went to the shop at 10. Go. Okay, very nice. Let's do it again, repeat after me again, I'll go a little faster. But Tom went to the shop at 10. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. One more time, again, repeat after me, I'll go a little faster again. Natural speed. But Tom went to the shop at 10. Okay, very good. How did it go? I hope pretty good. Let's practice this same thing, new sentence, new sentence. All right, again, lots of T sounds here. How do you guess we should say this sentence? Give it a try. Okay, how'd you do? Well, again, we want to, for each of the T combinations, we want to say with a single T sound. So, want to, want to. Visit Tom's, visit Tom's. At to, at to. Let's try whole sentence. Repeat after me, I'll go a little slower. I want to visit Tom's office at two. Okay, repeat after me again. I want to visit Tom's office at 2. Okay, good. A little faster, one more time. I want to visit Tom's office at 2. Okay, very good, very good. Is it getting smoother? I hope so. One more sentence, our final sentence. Same thing. Hmm. Many more T sounds again. Give it a try. How do you think we should say this sentence? Okay. Did you get it? So again, met Tom, met Tom. At Tony's, at Tony's. Last Tuesday, last Tuesday. 
Let's try it in the whole sentence all together. Repeat after me. I met Tom at Tony's house last Tuesday. Okay, let's try again. Again, repeat after me a little faster. I met Tom at Tony's house last Tuesday. One final time, natural speed. I met Tom at Tony's house last Tuesday. Okay, very good. So, I know this kind of natural pronunciation can be very difficult for non-native English speakers to learn, but it is very important. If you only learn non-native listening, it can be very difficult to understand people when you're talking to them face to face or when you listen to movies or TV shows in British or American English. So the more native pronunciation you learn, the easier listening understanding becomes as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. Don't forget, if you like this lesson, want to learn more English lesson videos, please check out our channel. You can subscribe there. We have lots of videos to see. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time.